So I was just um, thinking, I need a, I need a beard. I need a beard cut. Keep right onto Owings Mills Boulevard North to Maryland to look like one of those fanaticals. To town road. Anywho, um, there's no such thing as a flathead screwdriver. If you know that already, I'm sorry that I'm making this video. Or maybe you're welcome. Also, um, I don't know everything. Uh, I don't know many things. I'm not saying there's many things I don't know. I'm saying the things that I know are not In very many. Of a mile. Exit onto Maryland, but there's no such thing as a. Right so I don't use the right road. words for everything all the time, and I don't want to be one of those, you know, grammar, whatever they call them. <clears throat> but. Uh, Exit to the right onto Maryland, Flathead Rice to describes the the way this the top of the screw In is shaped. Feet, turn right onto Rice's Town Road. A pan head then turn is shaped left. like a pan upside down. Turn I don't know. Right onto a pan Rice's head Road. Uh, is a hump. Then turn left onto Rosewood Lane. And then you've got the wafer head hump. And then you've got the, um, let's shut this thing off. You got the wafer head hump, which is a thin hump. <clears throat> There's a pancake head, which is like a, really, it's like a disc. You got a bugle head, which is a type of a flat head. A bugle head, you could imagine, looks like one of those little corn chips called bugles. No. It's like that cornucopia thing that's on Thanksgiving that's on everybody's table and all the plentiful bounty of the harvest is overflowing from it. But that's not really a bugle. Um, maybe they ought to call those cornucopias instead of bugles. Because then they could do a play on words with the corn and the... <sighs> Sorry. Um... Okay, so the top of a flathead screw is flat on the head. So they call it the flathead. I need to get Brian Regan to do a bit on this. It's like a cup of dirt. It's, it's, it's a cup with dirt in it. So a panhead screw is not flat. Now, I just, uh, the reason, uh, I'm, this is a rant because the reason I... The, uh, the reason I was saying this is because I was just watching a, a guy on YouTube show me how to fix my van and he says you're going to need a 732 socket and because I mean there's a language barrier there's a lot of people doing videos all over the world and they speak more than one language and I'm an American so I only speak one language because in America people think that they don't need to learn anybody else's stuff so I'm not proud that I can only speak one language and I understand that that's a real thing, so fine. But he called it a 732 socket and I was like, fine, that's no big deal. Then he says, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. And that's when I was like, all right. <clears throat> the only reason this matters is because if you have lots of different kinds of hardware or you wanna be able to find different kinds of hardware or you wanna be able to talk about different pieces of hardware and you need different pieces of hardware for different things, it's very common that you need a pan head screw or a flat head screw and you don't have any other name for a flat head screw. There's nothing else to call a flat head screw. Drywall screws are flat heads, but they, because they have that curled shoulder, which is the way a, a brass trumpet or bugle is shaped, it's called a bugle head. But you can't describe a flathead screw unless you say flathead. It's a, it's a flush, conical, you know, tapered conical head. And it's important that we can say that because the problem is I say I, I have a flathead screw 
And then they say, no, that's a Phillips screw. And then you have this whole conversation about nothing and everything's wrong. So Phillips is the plus sign and the straight line ones with the little slot in them, it's a slot. It's a slot. So they're called slotted. There's a slot in it. It's like a cup of dirt. I know, I know, I'm just being anal, but it's not that anal. It would be like if, if, if you didn't have a word for nails and people called screws nails and nails nails, which a lot of people actually do that and, and you can't even talk. No, that's not a screw, it's a bolt. No, it's a nut. No, that's a nut. It's not a bolt. So a, a flathead screw and a panhead screw are like the two different kinds of screws and a slotted screw and a Phillips screw. And I still say it myself sometimes because you want to call that screwdriver that's flat at the top a flat head screwdriver, but it's a slotted screwdriver or a straight screwdriver for slotted screws. Sometimes you need a Phillips screwdriver for flat head screws because most flat head screws are Phillips. <laughs> Meaning the head's flat, and the hole in the top is Phillips. So it's a Phillips flathead screw. And that is those words are enough to make half the people, maybe more, no, like handy people, like people who know how to do this stuff and know all about all this stuff, but they're just the word isn't... And, and there's nothing wrong. It's just that's the way everyone learned how to say it most of the time because because the common parlance, but the, but that's just, it's, 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 it's a, it's not a good way to communicate what they are, and we need to have clarity on that so that when we talk, you know, we don't have to be particular about every little thing and correcting people about every little thing and saying technically this and technically that. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying this particular difference matters because otherwise you can't talk about the two major main types of screws and that's nuts it's crazy so slotted so just we're, i'm just going to go around today saying slotted and straight i believe the screwdriver is called straight and the screw is called slotted and that makes it a little weird because you can't call it a slotted screwdriver because it doesn't look slotted although it wouldn't matter if you called it that if a guy if the guy who had invented the slot and the screw, his name was like Schmarklar or something, then we'd call them Schmarklars and we'd call them Phillips or Robertson. You know, these guys who invented certain holes and screws had names. So maybe we just need to go back and find out whose name it was and then we'll call that one, you know, uh, uh, you know, a Vlad. Maybe it was a Vlad. No, Vlad had the, he invented the all. A Williams. So we'll have a Williams and a Phillips. A Wilson. Wilson and Phillips. And then Robertson could, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm yammering. Slotted, straight, flathead. That's a different thing. That's the flatness of the head of the screw. If you know this already, you know it already. If you don't know it, well, now you know it. And either way, I'm not trying to be pedantic. I'm just saying, please, people. Anyways, peace.